everybody. Welcome back to my lovely mess here in the basement. I wanted to show you what I got. If my daughter can be quiet for a little while. I mean, she's upstairs, so it shouldn't be. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way. I still have Christmas here because I'm still doing Christmas stuff. So, all right, just a little bit of a, a haul. And I'll have to show you. Oh, you can't even see. You can't even see me. Ugh. I'll see if I can get you a little bit closer. Okay. See if that helps. Yep, you're a little bit closer. Okay, I'm done. Here. <laughs> this thing stinks. I have to finish fixing this for my husband. It's a... Uh, um, a clock. And it opens in the back so you can keep items in it and stuff. And he had to, it fell apart, so he had to glue it, glue it and stuff, but he still wants me to glue something else. I don't know if he knows that broke. And, uh, we'll see. Anyway. Okay. Dollar Tree. And Walmart. So. Um. Let me... I want to make one of those, um, what are they called? Those little, um, I have another box up there, but I wanted to make either a, um, poster board, you know how they have the flowers all glued up on there and like your initial in it or whatever. I thought this would be fun to make for doing videos for my, um, reborn channel with the babies. So if I have a, a girl that I can hang that picture up by her or whatever. I thought that would be fun. So I grabbed some cute flowers. Roses and ponies. Phony. What are they called? Yeah. Peony, peonies. Whatever they're called. They're so pretty. So I grabbed two of each. I thought it would be sufficient. It's probably not. But if I make it just a small one, you know. It just would be cute to do pictures with and stuff. So I grabbed that, and then I haven't really been watching too many videos with springtime, uh, Valentine's Day stuff, but I did see this, and I'm like, ooh, I'm going to redo this. It is a, well, if I show you this way, it'll make sense, because I'm doing a farmhouse um, looking laundry room when I get it done. Plus, my house upstairs is more geared toward that style. And I thought it would be fun to make paint this uh, white and kind of put black through, you know, like the farm, farmhouse stuff. And it's a tag. And then find a saying mm. of something that I can print out on my Cricut. I don't know. I thought so. But it's just a Valentine's thing. So if you have these where your Dollar Tree is, I mean, it would be cool. You could do it for... Any one of the seasons painted, like the other side's already painted white, but it has that stuff on it. But I want to paint this. I'm going to see if somebody's done something with this, with it, and I'll have to look and see. But I grabbed that, and then I saw this where they have the garden. It's by the floral stuff or whatever, and they usually put the garden stuff there. And I thought this would be cute for my laundry room where it's farmhouse. It's supposed to be hung outside so the wind um, makes this go around, you know, but I'm not going to do that. I think I'm going to hang it somewhere in there. You know, I think that would be way cute to have in there. It says welcome down there. It's a little windmill. Isn't that cute? So I, I found those two things. 
I haven't been done. Did I say all these things I'm going to do? Like, I have a ton of stuff here that I have not done. And I think part of it is because I have the laundry room stuff down here. I have Christmas stuff I'm still trying to do. This is my craft room, and it shrunk since I've done the Reborn Dolls because it took over where my craft area was. So I'm stuck in this little area, and I need to redo it. And I haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> I'm working on it, though. So, I, I mean, I get these things, and then I have stuff to do if, you know, if I don't have another doll to paint or whatever, or if I feel like doing something more creative, I can come down here and just grab one. And it's like, okay, I got this for that. I got this for that. I have a pile over here I need to finish. I have some stuff over here I need to finish. I'm, I'm stacking up stuff, and I need to get some of it done. Then I found these little things that they had love printed and then um, in cursive and then they had XOXO but they had home with the heart on it I don't know I'm, I'm gonna ask my husband if he can cut the heart off of it because I don't want the heart on it and where he does woodworking stuff I'm after I'm done doing this video I'll probably go out there and see if he can cut that so it doesn't break but uh, it says home I thought this was pretty to do something with and then I had a ton of these these little tin buckets and I have another one here and I knew I had one and I have now I have two of them that's gonna go in my craft room now this other thing I got is so cute I have I have a bulldog English bulldog uh, English American Bulldog mix and he is just adorable he is my sweetie he is my little puppy dog he's not and well, while he's littler than Belle Belle's a golden retriever and I have had this statue of a bulldog forever and he's so cute he sits up by my fireplace and everything and I saw these yesterday at Dollar Tree and I had to get them so I could put it on him because they won't fit bare he's too he's too big but look at what I found. The little handkerchief things. This one could be for Christmas, and this is what I've changed everything to now. I'm going to go put it on there. So I have a Christmas one, and I have a, another one. You know how they used to have those geese, and you could dress them up for the season or whatever? Well, I found these. So, And he's about the size of a, a cat. So I haven't found a collar yet that's way cute. I want to find one with a little thing on it that says Spike. <laughs> so cute so I did get the I'm gonna put this on him upstairs and then I have this one for Christmas colors now the last things I got this I got at Dollar Tree because it has the happy face stickers on it and the lips so I grabbed these little stickers and I watch um, Missy's journals here on YouTube. Oh, she's such a sweet lady. She's absolutely neat. Well, she does these different journals, and she calls some of them are journals and some of them are glue books. So she has different ones of those. You can go check her channel out. Um, and I'm gonna shoot her a message and tell her that I hyped her up <laughs> in my video. Um, definitely go check her out if you like journaling and stuff. Um, Bible journaling, the glue books. And she did this one glue book that she started and I fell in love with it. I'm like, oh, I need to make one. I grew up in the 80s. I, my teenage years was the 80s. And absolutely love the 80s. I still have some of the items that were popular then. I have the track, uh, the Trapper Keeper, the notebook. I have them and it's actually down here somewhere because I got it out not too long. It's it's here. I just can't find nothing right at the moment. And I have um, these bracelets that used to be popular. I have the t-shirt. Um, we used to cinch it up and you had that little buckle thingy. I have two of those. I still have this stuff. And she's doing this glue book of the 80s. And I absolutely fell in love. So she actually had a... Um, is it Anne Frank? Not Anne Frank. You know, the rainbow, I can't remember her name. 
Oh my gosh, that's awful. Anyway, she had one of those notebooks. And so that's what she's using as her glue book for the 80s. And she cuts out things from magazines and stuff like that and glue them in there. And I'm like, well, I want to do one of those, but I want to categorize it. Um, I want to do like several pages of music, MTV. I was there watching very first time MTV came on. <laughs> I still remember it. It was awesome. Very popular. I don't watch it now. I don't like it now. It's turned into a, I don't know. I just, I don't watch it. And when it started getting like that, I went over to VH1. And now VH1 isn't that great either. So I don't watch either one of them anymore. But back in the day, you know, I, so I want to do one like with MTV, the music that came out first, like that one whole page. And then items that I really loved, music groups that I really loved during the 80s. Um, scrunchies, the scrunchie socks. I wish I still had those. Those are awesome. Um, different things, you know, do, do a category with the clothing and the just regular items, one with music and some of those. And so anyway, I ended up getting, because it's, it's, everything was neon back then. And I still have some of those items. And I'm like, oh, this is so cool. I loved her book. I loved her book. And when she does that, I will watch again. And I just got started to get my own ideas. And this was at Dollar Tree. And it's these little, like, pop-outs, you know, when you want to write something. I thought this would be perfect for doing a book like that. And then, because what she did, because it's a notebook, she took some of this bright paper, you know, this bright paper, and glued it down first. And so you can glue on top of it. But I thought that would be so fun to do. And then I could write, you know, I still have my journals from then and write little things that, you know, I experienced. Because you got 10 years of the 80s, you know, 1980 to 1990. And document those certain things through that those years. I had three of my children in the 80s. Actually, yeah, three of my children in the 80s. You know, I had one at 82, and then I had one at 85 and 86. So, and then I think my last, nope, she was born in 93. So, you know, I had three of my children who were born in the 80s. So I thought that would be fun to document some of that. Sh I, and I wanted to start picking up some stuff. I found these. These. This was at Walmart. It was like four bucks. And I probably won't even go through all of this. I might. And then these are so cute. And they carry these all the time over there. And I can always get more. There's 30 of these in here. So I'm starting. I need to get a box. I put everything in boxes that I'm starting to do. That's how I um, keep things organized, I guess. So I will start a box and put this stuff in it. And then the next step is to go on and try to find... I already went to my thrift store to see if I could find some old magazines from the 80s. I thought I might have some. I don't. Get some of those. And different... Maybe I could find some stickers. I mean, a big thing that was popular then was um, concert stickers and stuff like that. But that's why I got these. Because it had the um, smiley faces... And the little kissy lips. So I this I start out with three things. And I may end up finding like a little like a pencil with the rainbow colors on it. This one does. What's this one say? Lisa Frank is what I was thinking of. Lisa Frank. That was really popular then. And try to find some of her stuff online and like find a notebook or you know or something that I could do that in. So I thought that would be fun. Now the last thing I'm going to show you is huge and it's sitting over here. And I, my fireplace is pretty big up above. You, you've you seen it in my home de tour stuff. And it's, the stuff I have on there kind of is, it like soaks up. You can't, you can't see it. It needs something in the background bigger. And so it's rocks back there and my husband was going to hang our TV up there. I don't want to hang the TV up there. I 
went online because a lot of the ladies that I watch decorating and stuff, they have these big, like, um, shutter like things. Some of them are mirrors, and some of them are just the shutter window things themselves, or a window, an old window frame, or whatever. Well, at my thrift store yesterday, I found this. I mean, I was looking on eBay for one, and I found one. I can't remember the, how high it was, though. And it was like 20, 30 bucks or something like that. I want to show you what I got for eight bucks. Eight dollars. I'm going to paint it. I'm going to paint it black because that's my color. But because I'm doing farmhouse, I could paint it all white. I don't think I want to paint it white, though. I think I'm going to paint it black. Let me show you. It's so freaking cute. And mind you, I paid eight bucks for it. It is gorgeous. And it has the hanger right here. So it already has the hanger. And it's got the, these don't move, they're shutters. They look like shutters. Definitely farmhouse looking. But I was debating, do I wanna paint it white or do I wanna paint it black with some stuff? So I may paint it white and then etch some black in through it, you know, make it look older. But this is absolutely gorgeous and it's huge. And it's eight bucks and this will look so cute on my fireplace wall up there. So that's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna go on Pinterest and see if I can find um, um, I don't know, I make, I see I have black paint right here. I have three things of black paint and I think I only have one white. Not even a big one like this um, to paint it. Maybe I will paint it white. I don't know. Anyway, that's my little haul. That's what I'm doing. And I thought I'd share with you and go hit the subscribe button, comment below, say hi, and helps me out a lot if I get interaction with you. And we will see you all again soon. Bye now.